not going to delay. We have two representatives in the room, and so I'm going to introduce them, starting with Congresswoman Grace Napolitano. She represents California's 32nd District. As a member of the House of Representatives, she has dedicated herself to improving lives of returning veterans and their families, standing up for labor unions, bringing sustainable water solutions to Southern California, and curbing gun violence. As the founder and chair of the Congressional Mental Health Caucus, she was active in securing mental health parity, and she dedicates tremendous energy to promoting mental health legislation and working with key players to increase funding and access to mental health services. Welcome. Thank you. Good afternoon. Uh, and thank you for the invitation to, uh, to speak, although I don't know that I can be any more uh, savvy than the, most of you who are delivering the services. I'm pleased to join you in, uh, in this effort uh, to destigmatize the issue. Uh, it affects millions of people, especially young children, and uh, this is where I come in. And back in 2001, I started a, a program on mental health in schools. And uh, it is, uh, I started in high school and three middle schools. It is now in 26 schools with the help of the county, LA County. And uh, it's just to put clinicians on site to take care of everything that ails a child that's in school. And it also works with the families. Uh, the, uh, this is an illness that knows no boundaries. I don't have to tell you about it. You very well know this. Uh, that one in three suffer, and it's just, Time that we put a focus on it and brought up the uh, visibility up higher and uh, to destigmatize, um, we want to ask for your help in getting the message over to the people. Uh, it, unfortunately, not everybody in the oh, I, I was hurrying in the uh, health profession knows what the symptoms are of any child or of any adult and. Consequently, many of these uh, uh, go unnoticed. Uh, we must recognize mental wellness is a necessity of life. Um, we preach early identification and uh, a treatment, but we don't uh, often give it. We don't know how to get the word out to people that there is help, that there is um, um, services that are available to them. We uh, should work I'm asking the researchers and the people who work in this industry to uh, advise physicians, all medical personnel, to learn the symptoms of how to uh, recognize it and then have them refer to somebody who can help them. Uh, it's, it's unfortunate that it is something that we talk about when we don't all know about it. Uh, we should work with physicians with all the mental health specialists, uh, treat it like the physical illness that it is, and elevate it up to a higher uh, level so that we can then uh, get the benefits from it. In Congress, uh, too often we talk and we listen, but we don't act. There isn't the funding that there should be into the mental health aspect. Uh, um, besides educating the uh, public, um, I just want to share with you that uh, the program that I started in 2001 with Pacific Clinics and half a million dollars of SAMHSA money um, was to start a program in a high school and three middle schools, put on site clinicians uh, to help the children during the school hours. Um, some of the schools battled it. They didn't want it to be known as a crazy school. Uh, at this point, it has grown to 25 schools and there's a waiting list of schools that would to participate because they see the benefit not only to the child and the family but to the administrators and to the teachers. Uh, we've got to learn to share that information, to uh, talk to elected officials, to the community at large, to do our pet pieces, to do anything we can to be sure that we share that knowledge that we have. Uh, we try to get uh, others to do so Unfortunately, it's still, uh, don't talk about it, I don't hear about it, and I don't know about it. And that must be something we should all focus on, and in getting information out, and in getting 
them to participate in erasing the stigma and getting it focused to bring it up to the level of any other illness. Uh, again, we must uh, try to get to the parents also. And to the doctor's point, we uh, sometimes uh, see the child, but we do not uh, act on it, or at least in schools, if they were able to uh, identify, uh, tell the parent that there is help and lead them to where they can get help. Uh, but in doing so, we must also ensure that uh, the giver of the medical service knows the symptoms of what you're, you're talking about. Uh, the, uh, the warning signs with general public, the gradual and extreme change of behavior, talking about death or suicide, feeling of hopeless, hopelessness, despair, and extreme sadness, isolation and or loss of interest in physical activities once enjoyed, being bullied, or any other type of emotional or behavioral change. Uh, we take these for granted and somehow we need to understand that no longer must we keep quiet for the benefit of the children who are our leaders of tomorrow. Uh, I certainly want to uh, uh, impress upon you that we're doing all we can, talk to your members of Congress and impress upon them the necessity for them to get some mental health legislation to pass, especially for children who are our most vulnerable population and understand that we are continuing. I started in 2001, I'm still fighting to get funding and to get attention to it and to erase the stigma. So I, I'm glad that I'm here to talk to you and I'm hoping that I can be of any help. If not, Jonas over here, Jonas? He's my mental health uh, person uh, who does most of the work and I take all the credit. Thank you very much. <laughs>